Sustainability of fish stocks is a key objective of the EU Common Fisheries Policy. Under EU rules, fishermen must bring all their catches of regulated commercial species to port. All catches must be reported in the logbook. They cannot discard unwanted fish back into the sea, with some exemptions. This is known as the EU landing obligation, in force since 2015. Yet discarding practices are very difficult to monitor. Illegal discarding may happen at any time during the fishing trip, especially when an inspection vessel isn't close. So detecting it means continuous monitoring, either by human observers with their limitations or by sensors and video. Control experts in the different regions across the EU agree that when it comes to monitoring the landing obligation, traditional methods are not efficient enough. They recommend the use of remote electronic monitoring, or REM, including closed-circuit television, CCTV, as the most cost-efficient solution. REM systems have been used in specific fisheries for two decades with proven success. The video surveillance uses sensors linked to a central control unit. The sensors collect information on the vessel's operations. The sensors trigger the cameras to start recording when video monitoring is required. In 2019, the European Fisheries Control Agency, along with the Commission and experts from the Member States, worked on guidelines to support REM implementation, detailing all technical features to consider for using REM systems on board fishing vessels. The system should enable the identification of fish to verify whether the species is subject to the landing obligation. The EFCA guidelines also clarify different concerns to guarantee crew members' right to privacy. Experts anticipate that a wider scope of REM is possible to ensure compliance with more aspects of the common fisheries policy. Sectors like the scientific community and non-governmental organisations promote its development too. The aim is to put technology at the service of sustainability.